section or on activity 10-1 in skill mode. We're in the or else section. I hope you have watched the or else tutorial by now. If you haven't, that's where you should start. We're adding else to our if statement. So it's an if else, as in if this is true, do this. In all other cases, else, do that. All right, let's dive in. Um, as always, we want to look at their directions. This is not quite right. What should we fix? And we want to use their code as a guide. One thing I've noticed that it took me a little while to notice, but many times when they're putting say in a place where we don't need a say, they either want you to put another type of code or they want you to fix what's there. So, um, although I think in this case, I don't know if they want us using say. Nah, we don't need to say. So, let's see where we are. So before we were getting frozen bananas, now we're doing green and yellow. Um, so we've got our for B and bananas. If B is green, um, now this says go to the bridge and go to B, but that would send the monkey. We don't want the monkey going. We actually want the goat going to the green ones. Right? The monkey only wants the yellow ones. So there we go. And I don't need it to say green. Um, and obviously leaving that there would not stop you from being able to move on. So else, that means if it's not green or if it's yellow, the goat go to the bridge. But we want the monkey to go to the bridge. So this is really a small fix. They were sending the wrong um, character. So let's see how that works. And we were able to use the individual bridges because of how they were grouped on the screen, right? All the yellow are near bridge one. All the green are near bridge zero. 